What's up guys, Carnage here, and let's check out Space Moth Lunar Edition on Xbox. This game is published by Chorus Worldwide Games and developed by 1CC Games. It released on November 18th, 2021 for a price of $7.99. So Space Moth Lunar Edition is a bullet hell shoot 'em up or shmup, and uh, I love these kind of games. This is one of my favorite genres. And uh, previously on the channel, I also covered Star Hunter DX, which was also pretty cool, and uh, by the same companies, uh, 1CC Games and Chorus Worldwide Games. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to check out Space Moth Lunar Edition from the very top. Uh, I have not played it yet, aside from one achievement. Uh, I did get the How to Play achievement, looking at the How to Play guide way back. Uh, but I'm finally getting to the game now and excited to jump into it for the very first time, the actual gameplay. Uh, so we're going to take a look from the very top together here. And uh, there are a bunch of achievements for just getting through the game. Then there's one for, uh, just like the developer name, 1CC. Uh, you have to clear the game with no continues. Clear the game with no skull mode. I'm not sure what that means. No s continues or skull mode. Uh, clear stage 4 without losing a life. Then there's a bunch of different miscellaneous ones. Uh, continue on stage 1. Uh, some easy, some hard. Obviously, this is not going to be an easy completion overall. It's going to be a, a nice challenge. But uh, as most of these type of games are, usually challenging shmups um, for achievements. But that's fine. I love these kind of games. So I will uh, do my best to get as many as I can. But I'm not going to worry about it too much at the moment. Uh, we're just going to play through and see how it goes. There are a couple really easy ones here, I see. Change the screen border artwork. Start a game with the screen rotated and start a game with scan lines turned on. So we can actually do those right away and show you guys how easy it is to unlock a couple and then we'll actually get into the gameplay. Uh, you know what, first we're gonna get into the gameplay then we're gonna maybe mess with that stuff. Um, but yeah, controls, you have A, X is your laser, B is bomb, special Y, so it's the face buttons pretty much, pretty straightforward. Uh, and then we have online leaderboards there. Uh, I think it's online leaderboards? I'm not sure. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, it would be nice to have online leaderboards. But anyway, there's some challenges for uh, once you beat the main story missions, you can unlock uh, bonus challenge challenges there. Uh, there's also a practice mode. That's nice if you want to try different stages with amount of extra lives and bombs and multipliers. You can all you know set that to your heart's content. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, we're going to... Uh, before we... Actually, one more thing before we actually jump into the gameplay... Uh, I'll show you guys the how to play manual. So it tells you here, move in different directions and attack with your different weapons. And uh, we can basically get some of the information here. But uh, I'm sure they'll explain more along the way as well. Uh, activate skull mode with the special button. The skull circle will shrink, but enemy bullets inside will turn to skulls. So the size and value of skulls increases with the size of the skull circle. Interesting mechanic. Uh, each skull will pick up, add, will add score multiplier. Okay. Uh, pick up this for an extra bomb, extra life, hidden items in each stage, and use laser ore to deal extra damage. Alright, so we'll figure it out hopefully along the way. Uh, there are two different ships to pick. I think I'm going to go with this one. And here we go. You can hold down the A button, which is nice. You don't have to spam it. Um, and then let's see, X button is like a wrap, is a laser shot, and you move slower when you do that. Um, and we're going to actually change something in the options real quick. Um, if I can get a good second here. Ooh, there's a tasty hamburger in the, uh, that is tantalizing me right there. Um, we're going to pause it a second. Uh, we can actually <clears throat> change options in this screen. So we're going to actually restart it real quick. Um, I should have done that before. Uh, hold bomb to quit. Okay. So that was B button. Uh, we're going to just lower the audio a little bit here. It is a little overbearing, as awesome as it is. Um, hopefully that is a little better. I'm going to keep that off there. And we're going to start it again here from a fresh round. And here we go. The Y button. Uh, let's see what the Y button. I can't do anything with that yet. So yeah, A is a wider shot, but you move faster, and X is a more, um, you know, restricted shot, or not restricted, but uh, can't find the damn words when you're trying to dodge bullets in this game. Um, a more precise shot, and like, straightforward laser, but of course you also move slower when you do that. So yeah, T 
typical uh, from bullet hell shmups. Um, we've seen that a lot in games. And I gotta say, the controls are very good so far. Fluid, uh, very smooth. I'm not drifting anywhere. So that's always a plus when you have to be very precise and careful in these kind of games. Um, there's a lot of bullets already, and uh, I don't know what difficulty we take. But we're just playing for the first time. Not gonna worry about <clears throat> what achievements and what I don't get or what I do get. Uh, we'll just try to practice and figure it out. Oh my God, they're he already died. Rip. Okay. Now, of course, the uh, hitbox is very small. They explained that. Just like a lot of bullet hells, you don't actually take damage when you hit your main butterfly or moth. It's only the circle, the orange circle in the middle of your ship, that will take damage. And we got a boss fight. Here we go. Boss hype. Oh no, <laughs> that was terrible. I almost feel like restarting. It's the perfectionist in me, but, you know. Yeah, we're going to restart this one. I got an achievement already. <laughs> Let's actually lose on purpose. Continue on stage one. Oh, we did already. Wow. <laughs> we're going to restart it, though. It, it jumps you right back into the action, so pretty quick. And, uh... Like I said, I don't know if there's difficulties. we got to take a look at that. Actually, let's do that real quick. I, I know I'm jumping around all over the place, but um, is there a difficulty option? Maybe not. Um, let's try the other ship as well. Let's see how this one is. So we have two little drones helping us here. Cool. Uh, you can use the D-pad as well, but I think for this game it might be better with... Uh, Analog. Although, wow, I am, I am getting wrecked. We're gonna stick with this ship again. <clears throat> Probably a better ship to start out with until I, you know, learn all the patterns. Because this does more. The other one does more damage overall, I think. But this one is a wider shot to kill more enemies quickly. Um, and yeah, it's a lot of memorization, obviously, bullet hell patterns and whatnot. So. I love these kind of games. Oh my god. <laughs> the game doesn't love me though. We are gonna start over again because I am a perfectionist at this end. Like, we gotta at least not get hit until the boss fight, maybe, if we're lucky. <laughs> if we do, we'll see. Uh, but luckily, it lets you continue. I don't know if you have infinite continues or not. Um, but, you know, just to get the hang of things here. Get that burger. I don't know if it gives us extra health or what. There's a lot of stuff on the UI I haven't figured out yet either. I will say, uh, I don't know if it's just me being rusty since I haven't played a shmup in a while, but um, it's a little hard to see like what's going on with my ship uh, where I am sometimes, but even with the big S circle on it. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, the Y button, okay, that did something there. That, like, absorbs the bullets, so I should probably be doing that more. That was cool. I'm gonna use a bomb there. A well-timed bomb. If I do say so myself. I don't know when I can use my Y button again, though. Like, I don't know what the indicator is. I'm just gonna press it. Uh, now we have a pretzel. Damn, everything's making us hungry in this game. Very weird, but... Okay, we made it to the boss without getting hit. Now let's see if we can keep that up. Probably not. Oh, nope. I walked right into that one. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I do like this laser shot though. It's not working. Uh, I don't know. We got a nice bomb there. That was a, a well-placed one as well. Uh, broken butterfly clear stage one. 
See, I haven't figured out the uh, Soul Drain um, Y button stuff yet. It doesn't always let me use that, so I gotta look into more into that. But for now, we're just gonna play through and not worry about it too much. Maybe once it's in the circle, I can do that. Uh, that is clearing bullets. Okay. Interesting. Maybe when it's flashing, I can do something with that. I'm not sure. Cool. Like there, I just did something. Okay. Very cool. I gotta get the hang of that mechanic. It's an interesting mechanic. Wow. Okay. Uh oh, that's not good. That's not good. Nope. <laughs> cool. Nope, I can't use the ability yet again. Look at all those bullets just sucking in. Oh, no. Nah. Well, I continued there. And we died again. Alright, let's try to continue here. I don't un understand that. Okay, continues remaining. Uh, there's only two continues left, so it's not infinite. I probably need to look at the instruction manual thing again and uh, figure out this mechanic, because that will definitely save my ass. You have to be able to absorb the bullets on some of the spots here. Like that, right there. No, it's not letting me there. I don't know when you can do it again. Maybe like that, okay. Some kind of indicating uh, sound. Huh. Interesting. again yet. Really desperate to use it again very soon. Oh, there's something there, hidden. There we go, there we go. See, I don't even know if you can get hurt at that point when you use that. Uh, but here we go on the boss fight. Nope, can't use it yet. I really hope the sides can't hurt us here. Don't want to find out the hard way and uh, do that. No, the laser is definitely better right now. Holy shit! No, we don't have our ability. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Nope. This is a tough battle. Especially when they don't give you much room to maneuver around. Uh, oh, well. Well, we destroyed that boss, but uh, not, not the greatest of performance there. Um... Especially since we got an achievement that says, too late, let any boss time out. Oh well, it was an achievement, so we got it out of the way. Yeah, so I don't know, like I said, when you can use that Y button and when you can't. Like when you can and when you can't. Uh, I'll have to look into that more. But for now, I'm just kind of uh, learning the game 
playing for the first time, not worrying too much about it. But it looks like there's a lot of depth to it, which is cool. I feel like I can use it now. Let me, yeah. So it's like when you have uh, that flashing circle around you, I believe. And these are hidden things on the right there. We can grab that, that'd be nice, but I don't know. Oh, we got it. Sweet. There's a uh, special items or bonus hidden items they were talking about, so that must be what they what those were. Oh, another one. Okay, so we got our flashing circle again. I think we can use it. Um, I'm gonna get up close to them and then try it. Yeah, there we go. So it's almost like invincibility, because uh, it gives you all of the bullets and makes them into like souls or whatever. Very cool. I don't know if there's like raising bullets uh, effects, like in some shmups you can go close to a bullet and that will help you, but I don't know. But now I'm starting to get the hang of it a little more. And I'm really liking the laser, uh, but this is good too for a wider shot. There we go. Ooh, that was close. Holy shit. Like right here, that would be a good time to use this one. Oh, there we go. Look at that well-timed thing. Oh, and then I still died, though. I will learn this game eventually. But I like the precision. Everything uh, feels good. Controls don't drift and everything. It's, it's solid. Definitely need good controls in a shmup, and, uh, a shmup game. And this definitely has solid controls. Nice ambiance as well. And nice art style. Nothing like too fancy, but it does the work. You know, it does the trick. And we got a boss fight on our hands here. Some kind of lizard dude. Alright. Ew, he's shooting stuff out of his eyes. He's got a lot of eye gunk today. Nope, can't use that. No. Alright, this one is better for moving quickly here, I think. Oh, we have our ability. Look at that, beautiful. Sucking all those bullets. That's how to do it. Nope, I want to use my laser. Oh, damn. Did we run out of uh, live? Continues. Uh oh. Looks like we did. Um, I'm just going to put in any anything there. AAA. Uh, let's take a look at something here, though, again. Uh, I do want to learn uh, the actual mechanic better, so maybe it helps if I actually read it. <laughs> Alright, this part we know. Uh, rapid Shot deals low damage and soul drains enemies. This makes them more aggressive. Rapid Shot also increases the size of the soul skull circle. So that will absorb more bullets later on. Laser deals high damage, kills soul drained enemies with laser for bonus points. Laser does not affect the size of the circle, though. Uh, when the skull circle is big enough, activate skull mode with the special button. That's the Y button. Uh, the skull circle will shrink, but enemy bullets inside will turn into skulls. So that's if the circle is big enough and it's flashing, I believe. Um, so I guess that's when you know when the circle's big enough, then you'll know that it's, uh, that it's working. Um, but enemy bullets inside will turn into skulls. The size and value of the skulls increase with the size in the skull circle. Each skull you pick up will add to the score multiplier. All right. So, pretty straightforward. Um, let's try this one. This other ship this time. So we have our little drones aside us here. And there's a secret thing in here. I don't know why that didn't pick it up. 
Okay, so you could still die with that thing on. I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna stick with this one, actually. I'm not sure how to get that secret thing over here, then. Do we just have to be quick about it? It's not letting me pick it up. Okay, there. Oh, no, we're not dying in the first freaking part. We gotta start over. So, maybe you have to shoot at that thing a lot? I don't know what's up with that. I, I don't know how to get that thing, that hidden item on the right. Um, maybe just shoot at it a bunch? Use a bomb? Oh, maybe you have to shoot it fast like that? What the hell? <laughs> uh... Damn. Okay, there we go. That? Not ideal. Um, definitely want to get a good start here. Okay. So you apparently have to, like, get up close and use your laser to break those, I think. Okay, it makes a little more sense now. Um, when your circle is small again, you can't actually use that thing, and you have to keep using your A button to make it bigger, and then that's why it wasn't... There we go. Now it's making more sense. I mean, I died there, but I, I understand the mechanics more now. Um, so we're going to restart it and try to get a good run here. That's why we weren't getting the special much. Um, we weren't able to make the circle bigger before. Uh, but using the A button one does make the circle bigger. So you gotta alternate and decide when you want to use the laser and the other one. There we go. And our laser, our thing's almost big enough, and now we can do it again. Yep. There we go. And absorb bullets. So it's pretty much useful to use your laser um, when you when you use your other thing. Like once your circle's big enough, I think that's when it's ideal to use the laser. Like right here. Now use the laser. There we go. Okay, now we gotta get the circle big enough before the boss comes up here. Um, there we go. We're gonna try to save it unless we need it. Oh, I'm gonna use it there, actually. That was a nice, uh, nice time to do that. And now we're gonna actually try to get the laser bigger. Um, not laser bigger, but the circle big again. So we can do this. that. I am starting to get the hang of it more. Beautiful. There we go. Hell yeah. Perfect. Without getting hit. That will net us some extra points there, I'm sure. Much better. There's definitely some high score achievements in the game as well to get. Alright, moving on to the next one. There we go. Oh, 
we got it. Wow. Barely. Holy hell. <laughs> Yeah, that was getting pretty intense there. Just in time, look at that. Oh, I used a bomb there. I felt like that was a good save. And we're gonna use that. Go. Oh, come on there. No way. Damn it. Nope, nope, nope. Gonna use a bomb there. Not that I wanted to, but better safe than sorry. Look at all those bullets, holy shit. And we're dead again. <laughs> How to use our continue there. Oh, died right away again. So it's really a um, kind of like a mix of use, knowing when to use your, um, when to use your bomb, when to use your laser, when to use your wide shot, and then when to actually use your Y button to absorb the bullets. Um, which I have not been doing in a while. There we go. Now I got my ability again. So, definitely takes some getting used to and obviously patterns and whatnot. But uh, I love games like this, so I'm enjoying it so far. Even though I'm dying a lot in this level. Probably doing worse than last time somehow, but that's fine. Maybe a little better. I, I did well the first stage, so now that we can get that down packed, hopefully I'll figure it out. So, get that big one there. Kind of neglecting the, right, the left side of the screen, hoping that I can get through here. There we go. Oh, we're up to the boss fight. guy again, who doesn't give us much room to maneuver around. Oh, we gotta really deal with those here. That's gonna be tough. Ah. Yeah, the problem here is I can't get the um, circle going on yet. because We gotta shoot him enough with this wide shot before we could even use that. And that's being a little bit tricky here. Like, now we can. A little bit better. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, this is not going to work. He, uh, the boss timed out again. We'll eventually be able to beat him, but we'll definitely take some practice. Let's move on to the next level. <clears throat> but yeah, fun game so far. Definitely, if you guys like challenging bullet hell shmups, this is the way to go. Uh, even for new players to the, uh, to the genre... Wow, that was quick. <laughs> um, you can do practice mode and uh, try out different levels with extra lives and bombs and just, you know, learn the stuff. Which I probably still need to do because I, well, I got level 1 down pretty well. Um, gotta practice some of these later levels and learn the patterns, learn when to use your thing like that right there. Um, start to get the hang of it. Once you know the mechanic, uh, and the patterns, you know, you're all set. But it's still a nice challenge, obviously. Right there, I have my ability ready. I'm going to use it. Perfect timing. Oh, there's another secret over here. So, yeah, to get those, you got to get up close to them. And then shoot it with your laser, I believe. Another one on the 
right? So yeah, they're pretty easy to spot. They just look for the sparkly stuff in the background. Oh, I better charge up my thing, otherwise I can't get past this part here. Now, I think you can still get hit when you... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna use a bomb. I'm pretty sure when you use a bomb, uh, it, it makes you invincible for a short time anyway, so... Um, that's fair. Because I would have died there if it didn't... It doesn't only clear stuff, I think it actually makes you invincible for a short time, that's what I meant. Okay. Look at all those souls. It's a souls-like shmup. Not really. Uh, there's another bomb I used. Thought that was a pretty good time. Oh, there's an egg. <laughs> all sorts of crazy food items in this game. Oh, I missed a uh, secret item down there while I was looking at all absorbing all those bullets. Oh well. Oh my goodness, damn. Oh well. Alright, we got the boss fight coming up. This might have been the boss that I wasn't able to beat yet. We'll find out. Uh, and I also wonder if you unlock more continues the further you get. I know in some shmups you do that. Uh, oh my god, how do we make it there? I, didn't, I don't know. Oh my god, we had our ability too. <laughs> Game over there again. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, I'll have to practice more, but uh, that was a fun look at this game so far, guys, for my first uh, run of the game. Uh, first couple runs, of course, not uh, not the first try. I did a couple times there, but I think that's going to do it for now. Uh, that was a nice look at Space Moth Lunar Edition. I'm enjoying the game. Definitely excited to get back to it soon. Uh, but uh, just give you guys a little taste of the game and uh, not too far in. I don't, I don't want to show everything, even though I can't literally can't get there yet in the next level but uh, hopefully in due time I'll get good enough to do that and maybe I'll stream this game later on to get uh, when I get better at it and further uh, but for now uh, there you go there's a, a look at Space Moth Lunar Edition fun bullet hell shmup out now on Xbox uh, $7.99 check it out it's from uh, Chorus Worldwide Games and 1CC Games so thanks again to them for providing the review copy uh, and yeah, uh, thanks again for watching the video, guys. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe for future content. Hit that notifica notification bell. Uh, that way you guys get notified about my upcoming videos. And I hope to see you again next time.